Howdy folks and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another episode of War in the East 2. Um, again, I apologize for my ugly voice, but I am still sick at the time of recording this episode and I wanted to make like a fair balance of videos with a sick voice for both Hearts of Iron 4 as well as War in the East 2. So I've been playing around with Operation Typhoon and I figured out a way to let's say to make sure that the attacking side, in this case the Axis, uh, doesn't enjoy enough, let's say, firepower to overrun the enemy defenses even on the impossible difficulty. And I have achieved this by providing the Axis units with um, an insane amount of combat preparation points. And as you can see here, uh, the attacking value is an X because it's above, one, it's above 99 uh, points. And we can have a look, for instance, at, uh, I don't know, at the, uh, the 112th Infantry Division. I gave it 9,000 combat preparation points and you see that the, the combat value of the attack is now 759, so that should be enough to um, overrun the Soviet defenses on day on, on turn number one. Um, <laughs> I've been playing around with this, uh, and actually, yeah, it turned out to be a bit overpowered. So um, I may just fine tune a, a, a little bit uh, for, for for the next trials. But what was interesting was that apparently by encircling that many Soviet troops, I think the AI just panicked, because um, you will see in the video, on day 3, the 3rd, so first of all, the 19th, yeah, the 19th Panzer Division will break through the Soviet defenses here, and my glorious 3rd Motorized Division will rush into Moscow, which will be deserted. So yeah, there will be the, the the unit like the so-called fortress Moscow which will be empty and the third motorized division will have the glory to take Moscow in let's say mid-October 1941 um, with this I leave you guys the video I know it's a bit uh, cheaty a bit overpowered but it was just an experiment I I'm constantly playing and um, uh, let's say, fine-tuning the ideal amount of combat preparation points to give the Axis an advantage, but not too much. But this was really for fun, and yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys the episode. And also, the scheme of the episode, so this collage of screenshots, um, will be most likely the very same way in which I, will, I would like to play my grand campaigns with both the Soviet and the Axis sides. So, let me know what you think in the comments here below, and, well, stay tuned, stay healthy, stay safe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.